what happened. Oh. Since the gunman fired shots at a former president, Donald Trump, at his rally in Butler, Pennsylvania on Saturday, many people like Alexis Felix, political science student at Cal State Fullerton, took to social media to see what was happening. It was filling up my feed. It was memes. It was just informative. Um, it was videos, informative posts. The mixture of posts made it difficult for Alexis to know what was real. I thought it was fake at first. I thought maybe it's AI. With the news of the assassination attempt unfolding on social media, political science professor at Cal State Fullerton, Stephen Stambaugh, says this is uncharted territory and that the shooting is further dividing the country. The indictment on anything that the other side does makes it difficult for us to have an agreed upon set of facts. So if people are dismissing it out of hand right away without seeing it, then it's difficult to open up a closed mind. He adds it makes a perfect ground for conspiracy theories or inflammatory rhetoric to further spread. The conspiracy theories have always been there, but there's always been a counterweight of uh, experts and evidence to show. And it doesn't convince everybody, but it convinces a lot and it changes the conversation. Now it's difficult in the social media environment to change that conversation. He says algorithms and echo chambers are a hard thing to break, but something that must be done. It's dangerous in that we can't talk to each other. Uh, and I think that's one of the things that's frustrating about this particular political environment is you do have a lot of segments of the population who, if they would actually sit down, probably agree on 60, 70, 80 percent of things, but they can't get there. And as an increasing number of people receive their news from social media, Alexis says this event just proves her concern. Social media, I feel like it serves as an outlet for polarization to kind of grow and spread. And I feel like it makes it worse in a way because a lot of people will share their opinions on social media no matter how extreme it is. Saying she will continue to be mindful of where she gets her information. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Let Spectrum News be your resource for balanced, in depth political coverage and click the subscribe button right here. You can also download our app or watch us on TV to learn more about the candidates, where they stand on the issues, and more. We'll see you then.